if you watched my last video where I went to the scenic caves in Collingwood, Ontario, you'll know that I'm spending the week here. I'm doing some house sitting, dog sitting. We've actually come to Blue Mountain today, which is like a little kind of ski resort town. Obviously it's summer, but they're still open and it's just a really beautiful little quaint, cottagey, small town vibe. Lots of different shops, restaurants, hotels, villas. I personally have never been here before. I've never skied or snowboarded, so I never felt like I really had a reason to come here, but we were so close, we thought we'd check it out. I definitely wanna come back during the winter to try skiing or snowboarding for the first time. Now, gonna go and get some fish and chips for dinner. Hey guys, welcome to the car um, and to this fantastic lighting where you can see absolutely nothing. Also, hello, welcome to the vlog. I realized that I just started filming and didn't even say hi. So welcome back to another one. Very excited to have you here with me. All right, gonna eat my food now. Oh yeah, I got the haddock with the fries. Delicious. Hello guys, it is a new day and today I am at Purple Hill Lavender Farm. Still in beautiful Collingwood, you can see the rolling hills behind me. We just parked right here. The farmhouse is right behind me, which is where they sell all sorts of lavender products, essential oils, soap, stuff like that. We'll go there at the end, but through here, right behind me, is one of the lavender fields. Isn't that beautiful? So there's one there, there's a little pond over there, and then a couple down there as well. Feels like we're in the south of France or something. So we just did a little photo op in this chair here. There's this beautiful house behind me. Not quite sure what the house is. This farm is family owned, so maybe it's their house. And now we're gonna go down to the other lavender field because there's one a little lower and there's a little trail through the property. So we'll be doing that. It's just beautiful, smells amazing. We'll probably also be having a little picnic over there under a tree later on, super lovely. Another lavender field with the rolling hills behind it. I don't think we could have chosen a more perfect day. It's like a nice, 28 degrees. Tickets here are super cheap. They're 10 bucks a person. You do have to book in advance. You don't have to book for a specific time, just for the day, because especially right now with COVID, they want to minimize the amount of people that are here at one time. We got our tickets a few days ago. Now we get to enjoy all this beauty. I think I already said this, but it truly does not feel like you're in Canada. It feels like you're in the south of Europe somewhere on a lavender farm. I've personally never been on a lavender farm, so as a first experience, this is a really, really good one. So you can also see that this behind me is the lavender that they've cut because they sell lavender products at their store. This is all the cut lavender and then over there in the back is the uncut lavender. So now we're going for a little, well it's not quite a hike, this is not exactly hiking clothing, but we're doing a little walk around the property. Beautiful forested area, we don't quite know where it's going to take us but we're excited to find out. This reminds me of a uh, scenic cave adventure, check out that vlog. I'll have it linked somewhere on the screen. Much cooler in here with the sun blocked by the trees. I'm actually a little bit out of breath, but we started this way and we came out here, so it's a big loop. Very nice and mostly covered, so the, the sun wasn't pounding down on us the whole time. Okay, made it back up. The little walk around we did was around there. And now we are back up at the farmhouse area with this lovely lake and all that lavender in the background. It's now lunchtime, we've set up a little picnic, croissants, cheese, some veggies with dip, a little charcuterie board here. Gonna eat on this blanket. And this is our lovely view. Very excited to dig in. Dessert. It's a pear simon. I don't know if I like these, but I'm gonna try it. Make sure it doesn't get all over me. Mm. It's very cold to bite into. No, it's good. It's kind of like a sweet tomato. Mango. Or a plum. Mango. Or a plum, yeah. Or a mango. It's like a lot of things. Mmm. I was about to put on some lipstick and then I realized I'm gonna put a mask on, so don't really need lipstick, do I? So we're about to go to the farm store and check out what sorts of lavender products they have. And I'm gonna put our masks on because we follow the rules around here. Let's go. Safety first.
o'clock now and the fields close at four but because we're still here we just get to experience the fields like totally empty because most people have already left so pretty day two in blue today we've decided to come back with my parents and we're gonna grab some dinner got a lovely pianist playing today Woo! and i enjoy some dinner hopefully at a restaurant that looks over the water time for dinner i think dad wins the uh portion of the evening contest another burger here and some wings with this view bon appetit lilac fairy light overhang do you guys hear those noises there's something in this pond like toads or something do you hear that if you know what that is leave a comment down below because we've been hearing it all day and i'm at a loss we were sitting here a little bit earlier this is the well not this electrical box but behind it is like a seating area for if you're getting food to go or take out and they usually have live music there and now all the fairy lights are on and it's super pretty i found a map and you know how much i love maps so this is like around where we ate and this is where that fancy lavender walkway was and yeah you can see the park is super huge we mostly just stayed in this like main area where the restaurants and shops are time to go bye blue mountain see you later everyone is watching me do my outro and it's making me nervous Anyway, you guys, that is the end of the vlog. We are about to head home, so I'm going to leave you here, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the lavender fields and all that Blue Mountain content. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and also subscribe if you aren't already. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you next week. Bye.